Same old me. May okay. Everyone is safe. MJ, if it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been... As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. <laughs> oh, oh, that's smart. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just... Hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't. Still partners? Always. Oh. Hey, uh, so I didn't know if uh, you wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No. Um, MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at feast. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. Hey, wait, um, how do I call you? I mean, do you, you have like a cell phone in your, in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. Do you have his number? Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? 
That'd be so cool. If... <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water smorgasbord. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Polk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Ah! Rhino, what put the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah! Beast and ends, Polk. More of thy big beast and eggs. the end for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more suits! No more Dino! Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What would you do if I didn't beg him to give up? Yes, God. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! You know, I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed. There is fun in that. Come here, Pouch. I will teach you to throw real punch. My jaws already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. If he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. 